forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. What is up? YouTube, it's your boy Pizzamaker8000. Back with another Toontail and Corporate Clash video. Now, today I want to discuss 1.1 versus 1.2 now i'm not talking about early release or you know day of release because of course 1.1 definitely burned and shot themselves in the foot with the 1.1 release as mac users could not log on for the first two hours which led to me having a two hour long stream of me just raging at the goddamn computer but as far as the content of course 1.1 brought stabilization to the game with people who were not able to play before 1.1 and prior to the 1.1 release People could not log on, you couldn't do anything, you couldn't get through a D office or a fucking bullying mint without crashing. Also brought the whole revamped of Lawbot HQ, Lawbots themselves, and it even replaced the CJ with the Clo. 1.2 was kind of like a more quality of life update, giving us different gag tracks, a gag track look, revamped the SOS cards, and shit of that nature. And also, of course, the biggest part of the update is the overclocked Clo. So with that being said... I want to know what you guys think is better, 1.1 or 1.2. Now, I was having this debate on stream with a couple of my friends when I was streaming on Twitch. By the way, it's Peacemaker8000 on Twitch. If you guys don't follow me, go ahead and go over to Twitch. The link will be down below in the bio and go ahead and give me a follow. But we were on stream. We were kind of debating between this. A couple of my friends said 1.1. A couple of my friends said 1.2. So I want to hear what you guys have to say. Now, my personal belief, I have to say 1.1, even though... I really did expect numbers to stick for 1.1. 1.2 so looks like it's kind of sticking the numbers around. It's up to 939. This is the highest that I've seen since 1.2 release. It could have been higher than this. I just wasn't on. But right now it is 723 Mountain Time, so 930 and East Coast Time. And we have 900 people online. So that's a good amount. But, you know, I think 1.1, they hit about 1,000. But the numbers dropped very, 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 very rapidly. I think after the first, like, what, week and a half, 10 days... The numbers went all the way down to like 500s, high 400s, and it was just like, damn, the numbers did not stick, and I didn't understand why, because everybody, when I would make videos saying, why do people not try Corporate Clash, why do they love Toontown Rewritten, everybody's reasoning was says, hey, I can't log on, Corporate Clash, I want to try it, it looks cool, but you know, my computer does not work on it, it's not optimized, etc, etc, so I was thinking 1.1 is going to bring all these players in, but I think people did not want to go ahead and start another tuning grind, which nobody wants to do. But to me, you're grinding for something that's 10 times better than playing Toontown shit written. So, that was a very good part of 1.1. Another good part of 1.1 was that I liked the. It's very um, user-friendly for the beginning of people who didn't know how to play. Because, of course, one point prior to 1.1, when I first started playing and I was selecting my gag tracks, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know what the fuck Zap was. I didn't know you needed a squirt. I, I got sound. And Zap, I'm in there hitting, trying to hit a cog with dry Zap, and I missed like nine times in a row. Go ahead and roll the motherfucking clip. Now let me try to Zap his ass. Bro, bro what the fuck? Why is this not work? So as you could see, I kept missing, kept missing, kept missing, and I had no idea, but 1.1 introduced a new system to where you can actually see that, you know, you need Zap. You need Squirt in order to use Zap. So that was kind of a user-friendly. It was really good for the beginning players who didn't know what the fuck to do. Because I know I was lost. A lot of people were lost. If those were people in the YouTube comments telling me what I needed to do in order to get Zap, I would have been completely lost, to be honest. So I really like that. And I just think 1.1 all around, the revamping of Lawbot HQ. Let's go ahead and go to it right now. The revamping of Lawbot HQ was cool. Being able to, you know, have a whole new feel for the facility. And this is something that no other Toontown server has ever done. And that is getting rid of the CJ, which is probably the worst boss with the worst reward. And they revamped it. The new reward is debatably good. I don't really like it. Some people do. Some people don't. I'm sure it works pretty good in the overclock Clo. But to me, this just looks a million times better. You got the the oil in the middle, the fountain. You got a whole new look. It looks brand new. And you got the new cogs to go with it with the new designs for the old cogs. Look at how good the spin doctor looks. Going on to corporate class, I mean, to rewritten from corporate clash after playing, you know, 1.1, 1.2 update. Must feel like dog shit. Now, 1.2, on the other hand, had a lot of cool stuff. I really do like how this looks. I like how it looks in battle. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the new SOS thing, but this server is all about change, so I have to support it. Even though initially when I made my video, I was just like, you know, it caught me off guard. I'm like, damn, what the, f why the hell did they do this? But I understand, you know, the reasoning when people were kind of explaining to me. So, you know, it looks good. But again, I want to hear and see what you guys have to think. So, 
Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know your guys' opinion on that. Other than that, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, PGMaker8000. I'm out.